there's a Copernican revolution coming in our own concept of ourselves. So we, hundreds of years ago, had the idea that you know, our planet, or our home, was at the center and the heavenly bodies revolved around us. And then we discovered that, no, we're the third rock from the sun. But even more, we discovered that we're actually the edge of the galaxy. We're not the center of anything. We're just at the edge. And I think right now we have this idea that there's, um, we have a general purpose intelligence. But it's not general purpose at all. It's a very specific kind of intelligence that has been evolved over hundreds of thousands of years for our, for our survival. And that when we are able to map it in a universal look at all the possible intelligences in the world, we'll find out that our intelligence is actually way out in the corner, right out on the edge. It's not at all general. It's a very specific species of thinking. It's this particular mix. And so um, we're going to be, what I think the next decades looks like is us creating as many different species of thinking in mind as we can to do very specific chores to complement us in many different ways. And these minds that we're going to make will be uh, codependent on each other. Sometimes they may require a whole little ecosystem of minds to work and to support each other. So that's that idea that it's not a human-like way of thinking, that it's actually something that's more, um, that, that its chief attribute, its, its main benefit is the fact that it does not think like humans. So that when they drive your car, they're not driving like humans. They're driving like a car driver would. And so they completely focus. And so I think that's an important, uh, to me, an important aspect to understand about AI.